What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how I use PowerPoint in order to keep a journal. And this is helpful to me in parallel with a, uh, a notebook, which is just a paper and pen type of uh, notebook in which I write my thoughts and uh, how I'm feeling that day and the, the mistakes that I make and the good shots and things like that and a recap of the week. That's one part. Uh, but the other part that... Um, some people might not be familiar with is you can use PowerPoint in order to keep track of your trades. And uh, I do that in a couple of ways. So let me just show you what I do real quick. So the first thing I do is uh, you create a folder and um, you're going to call it, let's say, trading journal. There we go. And uh, in there, we are going to um, make another journal and we're going to call it uh october 2022 week four so that's the uh, week we're in right now and in there i will save what i'm about to show you so basically i just keep a structure and i have all my weeks of, of trading and when i click in there i'm going to have the powerpoint presentation of my trade so let's get on with the powerpoint so first thing is that we want to have a clean slate. We're going to erase this. Then I'm going to do insert text box. And then I'm going to write whatever and centralize that. And then copy that. And then I'll put it to the left over here. That's just how I do it. But you know, you can uh, do whatever you want as far as presentation. So here I'm going to write October 2022, week four. And here I'm going to write the trade number. All right. So that's the, um, that's the, the first step. Uh, next, since I'm going to do several trades uh, within a week, uh, what I do is uh, I copy this and I duplicate it a couple of times. You don't need to go too crazy there. Um, and then I'm going to erase this because I already know uh, what trade this is. And I'll erase this over here. So now I have a blank page. And I always do at least two uh, blank slides. Uh, sorry, I should have done duplicate slide. So now I have two blank uh, slates. So what I'll do in the second one, and you will understand why in a minute, is uh, now I'll go on, uh, I use TradingView as uh, one of my charting softwares, and I'll show you the way that I, uh, that I use it. So if I go back over here, uh, the, most of you know this, but it, you can publish an idea, basically. Um, so this is a trade I took this week. So um, what you do in that case is you click publish, publish idea. And here I pick private. I don't like to uh, put my trades on TradingView. Uh, I, because um, I don't like the uh, pressure that it adds uh, on me. I have enough pressure as it is uh, trading my own money. I don't need to uh, add pressure from other people. And I find that ego is a dangerous uh, thing. So uh, I think, uh, so over here, what I do is I, I click long, short, and then you have to write the small text, and then you have a category. I always put chart patterns or whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, because anyways, at the end of the week, I delete all of these um, of these trades because I've already filed them somewhere else. Um, so uh, do you really want to cancel? Like, yes, I want. So now we're going to go to my trades of this week. Just to show you real quick. So let's go to trade number one of this week. So this was the first trade. And what I do here is uh, if you click on uh, Shift, Windows, and S, what it does is you have this uh, snipping tool that you can copy this, like so. And then if I go here, I can copy, paste, Control V. And then I lower this over here and then uh, here, I'll just take this comment 
over there, put it there. And here I'll say, uh, I'll write why I took the trade in the first place. Uh, for this, it helps if, you, um, if you've if you already done this inside of a trading view. Let me show you. So over here, there is a comment. So it took a long after seeing accumulation on the bigger time frame. So that's my reason for uh, entry. Uh, whoops, that's not where I wanted to put it. Over here. So it took a long... So I'll just erase this and put this in black. There we go. So that's my reason for uh, entry. All right. And now, um, if we go like, like this trade is not uh, finished yet, but um, let's say that it was. Then you click the play button and you can see like where your trade is at but let's say uh, uh let's say that uh, this is done so i'll do shift windows s and then i'll do this again and then i'll go on the third uh and this is gonna make sense in a second bear with me I'll go in the third slide, which is a virgin with nothing written, and I'll paste that over there. So let's say this was a trade that was uh, uh, done regardless of the uh, of what happened. Uh, let's say in this case, uh, we'll say that it was a, a successful trade. Um, so I'll write down... Uh, positive trade how many pips uh all right let's say target reached uh plus 128 pips and uh some lesson learned uh you know i could have uh let's say uh let's say i noticed that my stop was a bit too far uh, took too much risk uh Or something like that whatever lessons i write them here if i don't have enough room i'll just create another slide and i'll write all the comments for the uh for that trading part so the reason i do this this way is i'll show you real quick so what i do here uh let's say you want to um, make this a bit uh more visible so let's say gradient let's use that and now what you can do is you do insert and then I go in zoom and then slide zoom. And then I select the two slides that I just put insert. And now what this does is uh, like you can make them both bigger as they are attached right now. So these are my uh, two uh, trades. So this is the before and this is the after. If you have more, you can make them smaller and place them wherever you want. But what this does is uh, I have a before and after as a visual aid. So now if I do slideshow and go from current slide, this is what you get. And now if you click on the, uh, I use the right uh, arrow, then I can see the entry of my trade and how it turned out afterwards. And then I switch to the next trade and then I can see how it went and so forth. So this is a, a great way I find to review your week. And also what you, uh, what you can do with this is you, uh, you can write uh, like your, this is a head and shoulder pattern. Uh, for instance, and then uh, this is a uh, wedge and you write down all these comments. And eventually what you can do is uh, at the end of a certain period, every three months or six months, you can uh, review all these trades and do some statistics and you can copy paste the uh, results and make a new file and have all your head and shoulder patterns into one file, all your wedges into another one and, and so on and so forth. And what this helps you is keep tab of what patterns are actually successful with your own style and your own trading and you can make statistics with it. So I thought I would show you how I do this. It's 
I know it, uh, I made it look much more complicated than it is, but uh, once you get the hang of it, it gets uh, you, you get really fast with it. So let me know if this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.